Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be sharing my top six tips that I have for applying to Barnard. A lot of these are like kind of, you know, you can use them when you're applying to any school. But um, I went through the Barnard application process myself. I go to Barnard now, so I kind of know what the experience was like for me when I was applying last November, so a little over a year ago. And I go there now, so I kind of have an idea of like the student that they're looking for. I have some notes down here that I'm going to keep looking at. That's why I'm looking down. And here is just my acceptance letter to Barnard. The college application process for me was really, really hard. Um, this just meant so much to me when I got in, especially since Barnard was my number one school. It was my dream school since the ninth grade. I want to just help other people and prospective students get in. Um, if you want to know some tips on applying to Barnard, then just keep on watching. So my first tip would have to be apply early decision if you can. Early decision, I know it can be scary, you know, considering that you are binding. And for those of you guys who don't know what early decision is, it's basically like you're saying that yes, if I'm admitted to your school, then I'm gonna go there. And that is a really big commitment, but I would just say that you guys should do it because it demonstrates interest and that looks great in their eyes. A lot of times colleges will get thousands of applications admit some people and then those people won't commit to Barnard or commit to their school and that is not what they want it actually looks pretty bad because their school would be considered a backup school that's actually called a college's yield rate and they want their yield rate to be um, a really really small percentage meaning that you know obviously not all are going to be able to go there but they want most of their applicants to end up committing to Barnard so if you apply or a decision, you're saying that, yes, I'm going to go there. And that's what they want. So I would just say apply or a decision if you can. You have other schools, you have other options. And another big concern is that, you know, are they going to give me enough money? One thing about Barnard is they are 100% need-based. So um, when I did the net price calculator, which is like a system where you can put in your income, put in your family financial situation, and you can kind of get a sense of how much financial aid you're going to receive. Barnard told me that I would be paying about $12,000 and a year, and I knew that I couldn't afford that, but that was way off. I do not pay that much now. Barnard gave me a very, very decent package that's very, very affordable, so I'm grateful for that. But you can definitely check out the net price calculator um, because I know that applying ED to a school and you don't know if they're going to give you enough money or not can be really, really scary because Barnard does not have early action. I would definitely do that. Um, it shows interest. It's also less competitive and I put the less like the quotes around it because it's like, is it really? But like, I think it is because think of it like this. When you're applying early, you're applying in November, and you find out if you are admitted, waitlisted, or deferred in December. And so those people are about a thousand students, a thousand applicants, whereas a lot of people apply in January, which is 9,000 applicants. Would you either be compared to a thousand people or 9,000 people? That's how I look at it. When you apply early, you are being compared to less students, a smaller pool. But my college counselor always told me that it's not necessarily less competitive because, you know, this group of students are very, very high qualified. But I didn't let that scare me because, what do you, what do you mean by high qualified? I did not have a 4.0. I did not have a 30 on my ACT. My credentials were actually really low um, considering all the other um, students that got admitted to Barnard and like their, their school and their GPAs like my stuff was like pretty low but Barnard's application process is very holistic they want to know who you are they want to get a sense of if you will fit on this campus um, so it's not just about your scores and the numbers it's a lot more than that but I think applying for a decision would be a really smart move especially you know I think if you're watching this video you really want to go to Barnard so I would think that you guys would want to apply early decision and commit to Barnard as early as possible. My situation, I applied early decision, but unfortunately I was deferred, meaning that they were like, oh, okay, we see your application, 
but we don't know about you yet so we're gonna put you to the side it's basically what they said and that could be for a lot of reasons i still don't know to this day what those reasons could have been but my guess is you know when you apply early you have to submit your first set of grades so i had to submit my interim grades for my senior year which were not great um i had a c plus in ap chemistry and i sent that to barnard and i'm pretty sure that that's what scared them especially considering that i put on my common app that I wanted to do pre-med. I'm not pre-med now. I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to go to med school. But at the time, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do pre-med. And I had a C plus in chemistry. Like, no, it wasn't gonna happen. So I think that's why I got deferred, but I don't know. But deferrals do happen. And I'm gonna be talking about deferrals later on in the video. But yeah, I was just, basically, I applied early, found out in December that I was deferred. So I didn't find out that I was admitted until March. So I had to wait a long time. It was very, very stressful. Um, but I still made the move to apply because I wanted them to see how bad I wanted to go there and how much I loved the school. So apply ED. My next tip would have to be try and visit Barnard. So this is goes along with the interest idea. When you visit Barnard, you're showing that you you know you want to learn more about the school it's taking a big step also i believe that you don't know if a school is for you until you step foot on that campus i visited barnard twice before i actually applied to barnard i did a summer program at barnard and i went there for an actual tour um i live in cleveland ohio so it wasn't that far a drive from me but i imagine you guys are coming from all over the world and i know you guys cannot just hop on a plane and you know go to NYC I completely understand but I would say if you can try to visit it just shows interest you can um you know you can take a tour of the school you can speak to students their souls and you can use those as leverage when you're talking about it in your essays when you're talking about it in your interviews you can just show that you know you've done your research on the school and you've been there and you love it and you know that you belong there it's also going to benefit you as well you're going to know if that school is the right fit for you my next tip was going to be to interview now this also goes along with the interesting but it's also going to allow them to take paper and put it to a face at the end of the day all you're doing is submitting a packet of information to a group of um, admission you know people and they're just reading about you but they don't they're not gonna know about you you know unless they actually meet you and unless they actually get a chance to talk to you and hear you you know now you know especially with all this stuff going on now a lot of things are going virtual you don't have to you know go to barnard you can also do it on skype you can do it online you can do it through zoom so um i would definitely definitely try to schedule an interview so that they can get to know you better as a person as i mentioned earlier barnard is extremely holistic they really really want to know you as a person and they your ideas, your morals, your passions actually match the mission of the school. We have an amazing student body at Barnard and I believe that the admissions team is, you know, really good at deciding who gets to make it here. And it's not it's not to say that, oh, if you didn't get in, you wouldn't have fit here. It's also just the, the fact that they can't accept everyone. You know, when I was applying, there were 9,000 applicants and only like 1,300 girls were admitted. You think that those other girls weren't qualified or couldn't have been successful on campus? That's not the case. They just can't admit everyone. Just take this application opportunity, like interviewing, touring, um, just to allow them to get to know you better because that can really help you out in the long run. When you go to your interview, come with questions. Do your research and at the end of your interview, they are going to ask, do you have any questions for me? And you should always say yes. You should come with the list of questions that you wanna ask them and ask them away. They're gonna be super impressed at that. My interview was over two years ago, so I don't remember um, the questions that were asked of me. Um, just be prepared, prepare for your interview. Think of questions that they might ask you. Um, just be you don't try to make up stuff that you think they're gonna want to hear like really really just be you be authentic and come with questions my next tip would be write a deferral letter so as i told you guys before i was deferred and deferrals do happen a lot but they are not a no do not be afraid 
that you are deferred. It does suck to have to wait an additional three months for an answer, but deferrals are not a no because I go to Barnard now and I was deferred. So, so in your deferral letter, you are not gonna be begging for admission and you also don't want to send it right away you don't want to send it right after the decisions were released give the admissions office some time you get some time to relax and you know calm down um but basically you're gonna send a letter to the admissions office basically um explaining you know it's actually kind of hard to put in words what you're gonna write about so i'm gonna tell you guys what i wrote about so i thought that the reason why i was deferred was because of my grades and um my grades and the sciences compared to what i put on my common app so i told them that i wanted to do pre-med and that i want to be a doctor and all this other crap that i did not want to do and i had a i had not the best grades in chemistry and in the sciences so i talked about in my essay a trip that I went on um, literally a month after I submitted my application I went to Vietnam and it was the best experience of my life and it was eye-opening for me so I wrote about that and how I realized that I didn't want to be a doctor anymore on that trip I know that my grades were not the best when I sent them to you earlier but I was taking um, classes that I thought would look good on my application and I was taking classes that you know I thought would help me you know, realized that I wanted to be a doctor even though I knew this whole time I didn't want to be a doctor. So I talked about how that trip was a, like a spiritual awakening for me in helping me realize what I want to do with my life and I want to travel more. I want to do more service trips like that one. So that's basically in a nutshell what I wrote about. I wasn't begging for admission. I was just basically saying that you know, things have changed since the last time I submitted my application. Um, and I thank them for considering my application. I was just happy that it wasn't a definite no. I would suggest you guys write those letters, um, send them like a month after, so like January, around the time that they're getting other applications. Just be patient because it'll show that you, you know, took the time to add this additional letter that was not required um, and that, you know, you really want this. My next tip is going to be about your essays. So your essays matter, like they matter so much. Your essay is your opportunity to, to talk about yourself. You're not bragging, you know, you're not saying, oh, I've done this, this, and this, and this. Like you're not bragging, you're literally just telling them about you, what you're passionate about, you know. I think that's what that matters the most. So I'm gonna be telling you guys about my essays. So. I wrote about my experience at a PWI. I've been going to predominantly black schools my entire life, but then I transferred to a predominantly white school my sophomore year, and it just changed me, and it made me an advocate for the black community. Um, it made me want to do more work for students in the Cleveland area, because Cleveland is very, very segregated, as um, are a lot of cities in the United States, and it's set up as though as if, you know, where you're born and where you live is how your education it's going to determine your education basically and that sucks because the reason why i transferred schools was because i felt like my local public school wasn't enough and um you know it wasn't preparing me for college so i ended up transferring and that school that i went to and the school the public school that i was running away from the gap is insane it's, it's, it's insane and I wrote about that. I wrote about how there is a huge gap between public and private schooling and how that needs to change. So they learned that A, I'm extremely passionate about the education system in America and how bad it is and you know how I want to change it. They learned about me and my life. They, they learned that you know I went to a black school at first, I went to a white school and it changed me as a person um, and I learned a lot from it. So they learned about my story and what I got from it. And that told them what I'm passionate about, the education system in America. So you wanna, you wanna incorporate all these different things into your essay so that they're learning more about you as a person. Just through that short 500 word essay, they learned all those things about me, where I come from, how I grew up, you know, what's a big life lesson that I've learned, and how I wanna change that and how that changed me. So they learned a lot about myself just in that one essay. And that's what I want you guys to do, just to really focus in on what you're passionate about. Please do not 
to start bragging about yourself and rambling i also don't want you guys to write about someone else it can be very tempting and it's actually very very popular that students you know are like oh yeah my grandmother inspired me and that's great but they don't want to read about your grandmother but if you're going to talk about someone that inspired you that's okay but always wrap the essay back up by circling it back to you and um, how that relates to you and your story and how that you know can benefit on their campus or in their mission you know don't explicitly say it but Barnard Barnard's mission is essentially in a nutshell you know you know creating and preparing women to change the world and one of my goals is to help help change the education system and I think that they saw that I think that my essay really really helped my application because like I said I did not have the per the best grades I had a 3.6 which is you know okay I didn't have a 30 on my ACT I had like a 20 something you know I wasn't the best applicant but my essays really really helped in that process I, I think so do not write about something that you think they're going to love you know just keep it keep it real be authentic be you especially for Barnard also never compare or bring up another school so that can happen too like you're like oh you know I went to I went to this other all women school I went to Smith for example and blah blah, blah. you know you never want to compare or bring up other schools just keep it with Barnard so yeah if it's not about you change it and if it's about other schools definitely take it out my last tip is going to be about supplements. Supplements are also very important. Supplements are basically just the smaller versions of the essay. They are another opportunity to let the college learn more about you. Um, so definitely take your supplements seriously. I don't have them in front of me, but I remember what my supplements were about. So when I applied to Bonnard, the, the two supplement essay questions were one, um, why do you want to go to Barnard? Why do you feel like Barnard is the place for you? Something along those lines. It's basically the very, very daunting why essay. Why do you want to go here? And then the other supplement question was um, if you could ever meet a woman in history, um, dead or alive. Something like that. If you could ever meet a woman dead or alive. Um, why would, who would it be and why? That was another question because you know Barnard is a historically women's college so they wanted to know who who do you admire that's a woman and what would you do with that person? So you see how these questions are super important because they are going to tell them more about you um, and they're going to see, they're going to read on paper why it is that you want to go to Barnard so you want to take this very very seriously. So here's what you don't say don't say oh it's a all women's college and I get to get resources from Columbia and I'm in the heart of New York City don't say that because you know that everyone else is going to say that you want to be unique and you know that everyone else is going to say that exact line and you know those are good reasons to want to go to a school you know location is important having resources to a really big institution is important and a woman's college is a unique thing to say about Barnard but everyone is going to say that so you're gonna to have to do your research and you're gonna to have to find things that you know aren't on the home page of Barnard's website that you can just find and put in your essay no talk to someone who you know might be a student at Barnard now or graduated from Barnard and find out some information that you know is unique so what I did I spoke to someone who was going to Barnard at the time and I asked her you know what are some traditions that Barnard has because for me going to PWI I did not fit in at that school and there was no community it was all about academics there was no there was no community it was no family it was just really really a depressing time of my life I hated high school so when I was looking for colleges I was like I want to go to a school that is that has a strong strong student body relationship that has a strong community and Barnard you know has a really strong sisterhood it really does like they we all care about each other um, and Barnard is super small so we have traditions and we have events on campus all the time so when I spoke to the person that was going to Barnard at the time I asked her what are some what are some traditions that you guys do what are some bonding activities that you guys do on campus and she told me I'm not gonna just go ahead and just you know tell you guys what I did what I said so that you guys can just go and copy it no actually find something that is valuable to you 
that is unique and that is going to show the college why you want to go there and what that means to you because it's going to show that you a did your research and b that um even even if it's small that it matters to you and that's going to tell them something about you which is your ultimate goal if if anything you don't get anything out of this video it's just to make sure that they can learn something about you because that's how barnard ultimately makes their decisions not if you got a 32 or if you got a 4.0 it's ultimately just about you as a person so i talked about traditions at barnard and why that was important to me so they learned that you know i value community in a college so not only was it that that's why i wanted to go to barnard because of the sisterhood in the community i told them that i would fit there because of what i've learned from that um, and my passions and barnard's barnard's value on leadership is going to help me grow into the person that i want to be the other supplement about you know meeting a woman that was actually a really bad question for me i don't think that my response was all that crazy i think i read about an author um i actually didn't I, at the time i didn't you know know a lot of you know female um women that you know inspired me in history i didn't know what's right about for that question but you know now going to having going to Bonnard for a whole year i can name thousands of women feminists black feminists um, that would inspire me now but at the time I just did not know what's right about that so you know just think of a woman you know don't say Michelle Obama that's you know you know like I said you want to be unique in your essays you want to be um, authentic you want to be you in your essay so don't say something that you think they're gonna want to hear you know because Michelle Obama I think everyone write about her you know she's amazing but you want to be unique like I keep saying those are all my tips but I want to wish you guys the best of luck and if it's not Barnard then it's gonna be somewhere where you're meant to be. And yeah, thank you for watching my video. Bye.